Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Technology and Hobby, and today it finally happened. Yes, I bought myself a um, kind of B-Script-like kind, B adapter for my smartphone, and the uh, quality of my videos on my channel will change dramatically. So basically, right now, as, as of a purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use my, my main camera phone, so I'm using my secondary uh, camera phone. It's a cheap alternative, a Sony Xperia U, so quality is kind of not there, but please bear with me, it will be really fun. So, uh, as I said in my last video, uh, in which I explained how I uh, took that took, took those shots on my channel with, with this Nokia 6.1 uh, cinematic shots, at, at that time I explained that I used a, some ND filters, like this ND filter. This is a 45 millimeter one. Here, let's see. Um, it's a 40.5 millimeter. So I used an uh, one ND filter number eight. Let's just unscrew this. Yes, you can stack them as much as you want. And um, this is an ND filter number eight. And this is a polarized filter, uh, which actually you know uh, gets like get get rid of uh, all the uh, glare, as you can see. Yep, see there? So basically I used this and some double-sided tape to attach to my smartphone on the back on, on its lens. And it was really tacky kind of and, uh, and due to a heat of summer, you know, the double-sided tape didn't hold on for very long. So I had basically to, to mark my shots, you know, to know how much time do I have before the tape, you know, unsticks from from its back so it was really kind of pain in the ass so basically uh, I thought that maybe I should quit but then you know I'm a I'm a pretty you know pretty pretty intense guy so I think I, I, I considered this as my as a challenge from life let's say like this so I started to look around the internet what kind of alternatives can I get to to make my you know uh, smartphone vlogging a little bit more bearable so I came across this guy this is a cinematographer rig no it's not a B script B script costs far more expensive than this I paid for this like 20 plus bucks uh, free shipping and uh, it's a clone as you can see the quality is not there as you can see this kind of little bit of angles like that it's not sit it's not sitting flush with a camera but uh, but it's easily fixable I think I can can f find find a way how to how to deal with this kind of issue so it's it, it has its clamp and some cold shoe mount for your lights or mic and um, it is it is easily adjustable you know with with these nubs you can basically adapt any type of smartphone inside of there this is this is my cinema grip put this over here it came with this uh, 37 millimeter uh, lens uh, kind of thing. It's it's a wide angle lens. It's a pretty good glass, basically, and uh, and it and it will help me to get more inside of the shot. So um, I also bought this adapter. You know, uh, a 52 to uh, 54 or 55, I guess. This is this 54 uh, millimeter adapter uh, to to. To adapt more of the ND filters, I also bought this um, this mic adapter, TRS to TRRS adapter. Uh, I also got a cleaning cloth with this, and uh, and some lenses as like you know as a gift. So I purchased uh, from from that particular seller. It's kind of nothing special, you know, but I think I can use these lenses to adapt on my old phone. On this Xperia U, it's got this clap, a clasp like this, you know. So, nothing special. Oh, let me show you the, show 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 the lenses, which this this guy came with. Here we have a, um, a wide angle lens, as you can see. Nothing particularly special, but it, but it gets the job done, you know, like like, you know, in a pinch, it can get the job done. Just screws on the, on this, on this, cl on this clip, and uh, 
it goes on a smartphone like this see this it's really really pain in the ass to to a jab this guy well you know nothing nothing fancy but but thanks anyway this is a fisheye lens oh by the way these lenses are easily mountable on this guy because this thing uh, in comparison to a B scrip not only has a 37 millimeter thread but also has this uh, how many how many millimeters is this but, but anyway this this these lenses are adaptable to here as well here let me just screw this on and boom get a fisheye lens right there so basically uh, this rig is much more functional than, than the B scrip you know plus it's cheap okay these are lenses I also uh, found on this package a seller included a telephoto lens it's actually pretty good and, and I'm gonna include a demonstration videos of these like uh, like in like several minutes so it's actually you know adjustable like this it's a 12x zoom uh, I don't I'm not quite sure about the uh, lens quality but uh, still and again it's, it's kinda all in one package you know <laughs> 20 bucks come on like you can't beat that and I have purchased separately like in my country you know in in my local store this ND filter kit well uh, let's see how it goes uh, I'm, I'm gonna assemble this in front of you so okay let's get started now I'm gonna take take this 37 millimeter lens screw the back portion of this like this okay here we go oh, it's all clean lean good anyways okay put this bad boy over here put this off. let's just uh, unpack unpack the uh, the ND filter holder right there it's a 52 millimeter, by the way. It goes easily on this lens, just like the screws are. It actually screws on it like this. Um, let me see, let, let me get this right. Oh, yeah, this will be easy, like, like this. Okay, here we go. It screws on like that, and it's actually adjustable, so you can adjust the way you want. Okay, this thing screws on top over here like that. And all right, there we go. Good. Perfect. Now, let's put this aside. This old ND filter. So unfortunately, these filters will not go on this mount because these are 40.5 millimeters this is a 37 millimeters so threads are, are not not matched so let's take out the ND filter this is a number four ND filter you know I I kinda you know uh, don't like these because these are very very easily you know uh, easily uh, uh, at, attract a fingerprints even thought that when you're putting you know, putting them inside of the uh, holder right there so you should always uh, uh, like keep keep to yourself a cleaning cloth like this I'm gonna, I'm gonna I know I'm gonna um, put this aside for a while okay let's try to do as as clean as possible all right here we go. Oh, it's already some okay. something over there. Oh, damn it! All right. Here we go. That's more. Oh, that should work for now. Let's put this bad boy over here. Come on. Just like that. Here we go. Now, this should go like this all right yeah 
and it sits there snug, just like that. Now, we take this. We take this clean cloth, right, like this, and clean this glass so it doesn't show any fingerprints or something, because it's gonna ruin our shot. There, perfect. Okay. Mm, wonderful. Let's do this this way. No, no, like this. Yeah. That's correct. Oh, there's something over there. Some smudge. See that? All right. It's clean. It's ready. And now, the main star of the show. Uh, smartphone. Nokia 6.1. 2018 edition. All right, let's put this bad boy over there. Let's check the lens. Is this clean? Yeah, it's clean. All right, let's put this bad boy over here and let's check out the quality. All right, here we go. Let's adjust this. Um, by the way, I'm using application called Lumio Cam. This get this thing, because this camera allows you to shoot in a flat profile oh by the way don't 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 worry about the uh, about the vignetting because once you hit a record button right there they will disappear because uh, you know camera uses a full uh, full frame so basically everything that is vignetted is be will be um, will be out of the shot so Let's take the white balance right there. Uh, this is it, okay? And uh, let's adjust the shutter speed. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Here you go. And you have yourself some nice cinema rig for you. You know? Oh, almost forgot a mic adapter I actually uh, prefer let's stop the recording I actually prefer to uh, you know to keep this as close to me so I could so I uh, you know wouldn't forget uh, so I didn't forget this uh, you know somewhere okay let's just tie this over here like that you know it'll be on me all the time here we go, like that. Will be all on me all the time. When I'll buy mic on like for this, I'm gonna attach it, and then it will it, it will stay here basically forever. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is my this is my uh, new vlogging kit. And uh, if somebody if next time somebody tells you that you know uh, YouTube vlogging is expensive. You can easily tell them your mom. That usually shuts them up. Yeah, basically this is it. This is a rig. And I'm going to include a video, uh, a test footage from it. So, well, let's go to the footage. And so, this is a test footage from this uh, rig. So, uh, right now I'm using my uh, headset as my main uh, microphone because I don't have microphone yet so <clears throat> uh, I think the quality of audio will be acceptable <clears throat> and uh, uh, let's see the uh, the focusing capabilities let's just tap on tap and focus here we go let's try again let's get that closer as, as close as possible wonderful bouquet and uh, okay this is with an ND filter attached to it yeah this is, is a uh, flat profile by the way I'm gonna edit it in post so we'll see how it goes okay
and this is a uh, telephoto lens as you can see it's a 12x zoom and uh, and it works wonderful wonderfully let's check out the quality as you can see no vignetting whatsoever I'm trying to focus there yeah that's it as you can see every single you know kit uh, accessory works perfectly flawlessly and uh, for cheap and and I'm I'm gonna remind you that this whole setup cost me about my like 25 or 26 dollars including the lens uh, in a polarized lens adapter so that's it let's focus on something in the background nope it's too close let's go let's go a little bit further yeah as you can see uh, a little bit further away here we go perfect wonderful cinematic shot thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one